Hey Myrmidons, I'm about to start the biggest DIY project of my life, which is going to include me sanding and priming and painting a little bookshelf. I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. I watched a YouTube video, but it didn't really give that much information. So, you know, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. So let me show you the tools that I have. I bought this Black & Decker electric orbital sander from Amazon. It was like $25. And then I got this 220 grit um, sandpaper. I'm not sure if this is the right grain or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. And then since my bookshelf is black, I got a primer. So I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to cover the whole bookshelf so we'll find out about that and then this is the color that it's gonna be it's like a teal color super excited this of course is the bookshelf so I'm just gonna go right into it I'm really nervous I have no idea how it's gonna go but I think hopefully it'll turn out okay if not you guys can laugh at me Safety first. It's not turning on. I'll read the instructions. I figured it out. The plug just wasn't working, but I, I got it to work. Let's do this. <laughs> So I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like. Is it supposed to take all of the all of the paint off or what? So I confirmed with my handy friend Google and I don't have to sand the laminate all the way off. You just want to rough it up. So I think I accomplished that on the top shelf, so I'm gonna carry on. Well, this won't fit in here. Either I can unscrew the whole thing, or I can just skip that shelf. I'm leaning towards skipping that shelf and then just hand sanding it. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. If my neighbors didn't hate me already, they probably do now. I think this is done. I sanded the whole thing. Now I just gotta do the smaller pieces and like the corners and stuff that I wasn't able to get with the sander. So I might see if I can use this a little bit more. Can't forget the little pieces. This is what it looks like with all of the sanding. So what I read is that all of the laminate doesn't need to be off. It just needs to be roughed up enough so that you can um, paint over it or so that the paint will stick to it. So I think that we're at a good place. The next step before priming is to wipe it all down with a wet cloth. Get all of this all the dust and stuff off of it.
that's done. Now, I think it's time to do the primer. So I got this white primer since the, cat, since the bookshelf is black. And I'm gonna paint it, obviously, a lighter color than black. So this should help the paint show up over the, over the black, of course. And then also, I think it's supposed to make it stick on to, I don't really know. I'm almost out of primer. Got a decision to make. Am I gonna go over it again? Or am I gonna use the primer on my little pieces? Like this. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use the primer on the little pieces. One other thing too, I didn't paint, I didn't use the primer on the bottom. Like I used it on the top, of course, but I didn't use it here on the bottom. Which no one is really gonna see, so. If it happens to come off, you know, if the paint doesn't stick that well there, then, you know, it is what it is. So I painted all of the little pieces, yay! Not perfect. My finger messed that one up, but pretty good. Still have a little bit left, so I'm gonna touch up whatever I can. say that it should be it should be left to sit for 20 minutes it says dries to the touch in 20 minutes to handle in one hour and fully dry in 24 hours so I think we're gonna wait ooh, 24 hours and um, we'll be back at it again tomorrow 2,000 years later it's been 24 hours and this is what it looks like. Um, it didn't cover all of the black, but it's a whole lot better than it actually being black. So I'm just going to wipe it down with a cloth, um, just, you know, in case any dust or debris got onto it in the last 24 hours and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it ah! I think I'm gonna start with these small pieces just because I'm really nervous to start on the actual bookshelf itself I love the color all right guys we're ready to go in we're just gonna go for it it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come out great. Okay, so I've got about a quarter of paint left. This is mostly done. I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna spend the last quarter of the paint. The top shelf definitely, the top shelf definitely needs to be touched up because it's a little bit rough up here still. You can see a little bit of black underneath there, so I think I'm gonna touch that up. And then the back isn't painted. There's still a little bit of white back here. Oh yeah, I'm also definitely gonna touch up this part. Not 100% sure if I'm going to paint the white back here because, you know, that's gonna be against the wall. 
so I don't think I want to waste the paint against the back against the back I think that I'm done. I'm all out of paint and this is the kind of final project. It still needs to dry but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like and I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Oh it's gorgeous. Gorgeous guys. Gorgeous. What? So I would say considering that I had no idea what I was doing when I started this project it turned out really really well um i'm happy with it and i will most likely be using my electric sander and other stuff a lot more so i feel very empowered i feel like a little martha stewart so yeah i would call this project a success thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe and Stay tuned to the channel for more videos. See you next time. Ciao.